Last November, the record for the closest black hole to Earth was refreshed. Led by astronomer Karim El Badri, the team used the highly accurate celestial position data from the Gaia satellite, along with radial velocity measurements from several telescopes, to successfully confirm that a star in the constellation Serpents, about 1550 light years away, is orbiting a black hole, breaking the record for the nearest black hole to Earth. Humans have been searching for black holes for several decades. For black holes that are feeding, i.e., accreting matter, their surrounding accretion disks and jets emit strong electromagnetic radiation in multiple bands such as radio and X-rays, making them relatively easy to spot. However, black holes that are not feeding are much harder to find. After all, the reason black holes are called black holes is that they hardly emit any light themselves. The usual method for finding these silent black holes relies on the gravitational effects of the black hole on its surroundings, indirectly inferring the existence of the black hole. The most common method is to look for stars orbiting invisible objects. Generally, the trajectory of a star moving in the sky should only be affected by the star's parallax and proper motion. Still, if the star is in orbit with another massive object, like our target, a silent black hole, then the star's trajectory will be influenced by the black hole. Therefore, observing the motion trajectory of stars is one of the important methods for finding silent black holes. The most famous example of this method is the confirmation of the existence of a supermassive black hole in the center of the Milky Way by Reinhard Genzel and Andrea Ghez. Winners of the 2020 Nobel Prize in Physics, through long-term observations of the motion of stars, position and radial velocity, in the center of the galaxy. However, because the method is indirect when searching for black holes in this way, it is often difficult to determine whether the invisible object is a black hole. For example, in 2020, astronomers from the European Southern Observatory announced that HR 6819 is a three-star system containing a black hole, but this was later refuted by more detailed research. Therefore, while it's relatively easy to find black hole candidates from the motion of stars, eliminating all other possibilities and confirming the existence of a black hole is not an easy task. So how did this new study confirm the existence of a black hole? The first step was for astronomers to focus on strange stars. When a star and a black hole are in orbit with each other, the trajectory of the star in the sky will oscillate periodically due to the gravity of the black hole. Therefore, if we see a star's path is erratic, that star is a likely candidate to be under the gravitational influence of a black hole. Currently, the positional data provided by the Gaia satellite is undoubtedly the first choice for such observations. Launched by the European Space Agency in 2013, Gaia operates at the second Lagrange point of the Sun-Earth system. Unlike the versatile Webb Space Telescope, Gaia specializes in astrometry, the science of measuring the positions of celestial bodies with ultra-high precision at the micro-arc second level. Every few years, the Gaia team will organize and publish their observational results, known as data releases. The latest, Data Release 3, DR3, includes massive data from over 1.8 billion celestial bodies. After the screening, the team found a star named Gaia DR34 quintillion 373 quadrillion 465 trillion 352 billion 415 million 301,632 that looked particularly suspicious. This is a star similar to the Sun, with a visual magnitude of 13.77, about 1300 times dimmer than the limit visible to the naked eye, but considered quite bright from an astronomical perspective, and is about 1550 light years away from Earth. After finding the potential candidate, the team reviewed historical observations of the star and also applied for time on several telescopes to carry out four months of spectroscopic observation. Using the positional data, right ascension, declination, parallax, from the Gaia satellite and radial velocity information from spectroscopy, the team was able to accurately calculate that the star is orbiting an object 9.6 times the mass of the Sun. Such a large mass that emits almost no light, a black hole is almost the only possible explanation. But with current observational data, astronomers still cannot confirm whether it's a single black hole, or two black holes in a very close orbit around each other with the star in a larger orbit around the two black holes. However, whether it's one or two, 
Gaia BH1 has refreshed the record for the closest black hole to Earth, at a distance of only 1550 light-years, which is three times closer than the previous record holder, LMXB A062000. From the scale of the Milky Way, this is almost in our backyard. Finally, let's talk about the significance of finding the closest black hole to Earth. The record of the closest black hole to Earth itself doesn't have much significance. Although from the scale of the Milky Way, 1550 light years are almost like in our backyard, this black hole will not have any impact on the solar system, Earth, or our daily lives. So why do astronomers still work hard to find these black holes? One major reason is that finding these black holes that orbit stars can help astronomers understand the process of stellar evolution. In the long evolutionary history of the Milky Way, countless stars have been born and died. We can't see these dead stars, but we can use the method of this study to find the black holes left behind by these massive stars after their death, and thus infer how binary stars evolved in the past to leave behind the remnants we see today. In addition to Gaia BH1, astronomers are also continuously studying other, suspicious, star, black hole binary candidate systems in Gaia DR3. As the Gaia satellite continues to observe, more and more of these black hole candidates will be discovered. Studying these systems will help astronomers further understand the mysteries of binary system evolution. This is Tech Talk Universe. See you next time.